Uh, well, hi, I, my, my name is uh, Yang Hui He, and I'm Professor of Mathematics at uh, City University of London. Could you please tell us what you talk about at the seminar? Well, I was very happy to be invited to give this triangle um, to report some of my latest, latest research, which is exactly on the interface between um, string theory and uh, geometry and data science. Then, may I ask, what's your coolest or most famous result? I'm very, very happy with this result, which is with uh, Brett Over at University of Pennsylvania, where, where I was a postdoc. And we had, it was a cool title, the first exact MSSM spectrum from string theory. So there we found a particular Clavier manifold um, that had um, the exact um, the supersymmetric version, of course, uh, the standard, the minimal supersymmetric version of the standard model uh, that came out of, uh, that you can directly get from string theory. So you, it's kind of nice that you can find this exact result. So this sort of answered a question uh, that was posed in the 1980s, um, uh, you know, whether you can do such exact uh, particle content. I know that you have published 13 papers in your year, right? Uh, yes, uh, this has been a particularly um, f um, productive year for me. Oh, it's really amazing. Um, but you know you why, right? I, I, I tell you the reason why I've been so productive this year. So I, I, just, I just put out my 14th paper this year. And the reason wow. is because I've got no random... Because of quarantine, I've got nothing else to do. I'm, I'm, I'm at home, right? And my kids, once you put them to bed, you can just do whatever you want. I don't have people constantly bombarding me with random stuff. The most important thing, this is like, like a, a message to everybody. All faculty meetings should be on Zoom. Is there a particular person or idea that in inspires you or your research? Yeah, that's a very good question. I thought of it a little bit. I, I think, for me personally, I think there are a few that, that are quite personally, constantly inspiring me, inspiring me personally. One is uh, Professor John Mackay, who is this, uh, this well-known uh, Canadian mathematician who, who is a pure representation theorist, but he's constantly filled with ideas. And then so I, he's old, I mean, he's 80s. Um, and another person who I find very inspiring recently is Professor Minyoung Kim, who is a, you know, a, a very premier number theorist, who, who actually has um. an extremely strong uh, background in theoretical physics. And he says, you know, he's constantly using ideas of quantum field theory to solve the hardest problems in number theory. And, you know, there, there are interviews about him, I think you should read. That's cool. I really wish that I know them. Oh, I will introduce you to them. Um, they, you know, uh, they're they're like very very good friends of mine. Maybe um, yeah. after this quarantine, maybe after the quarantine, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then a final question is that, uh, why do you think it's a good time to be a theoretical physicist? Yeah, that's a very good question. Actually, I think I think the perfect quote is. Um, is Dickens. You know, the Dickens, in, uh, Dickens famously said it, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And I think this always applies to theoretical physics. It's never a bad time to do theoretical physics because it's, you know, theoretical physics is the, it's the glue that holds so many different fields together. And there's always yeah. interesting problems. You know, of course, you know, string theory right now, you know, you know, nobody really does hardcore string theory right now. It's not a very um, active field. But, you know, the, the, the directions that it's opened up right now, that's very, very active, you know, things like, um, uh, you know, so, uh, of course, interactions with pure mathematics, um, you know, um, uh, studies in, in, in entanglement entropy, in quantum information, and now in machine learning and data science. So this is actually, actually a, a very good um, time to do theoretical physics. Um, even though you may hear it otherwise from from the internet, uh, precisely because you know th there are just so many other problems you can look for, and I think in that sense it's always it is always a hard time to do theoretical physics, but it's always a good time.